What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to my world. It's World Pass with the W. Pass here with another review video for y'all today. This one took a little bit to cook up, but it's finally here. Sorry, it took a minute. We are. It only took a minute because I needed to watch the last episode for the series. But we are going to be reviewing the hit anime that dropped last fall, Raymond Beyond Journeys End. Was it last fall or last summer? I'm pretty sure it was like last fall, winterish. Uh, but for the winter season, Rare and Beyond Journeys, and we will be reviewing the full anime, both cores, and I will be telling you what I think about it, and if you should watch it. It's Rare and Beyond Journeys, and worth the watch? We'll find out in this episode of World Pass Reviews! Welcome back to another review, y'all. Hope y'all are doing well and hope you guys are enjoying my reactions. You know, I take a lot of time away from review, the time it takes to do review videos to do reactions just so I can get more reactions out and see what y'all want to see me react to. But lately it's been about balance and I'm trying to balance myself out and do more review videos. Figured I might as well stick with the season and any anime that I've been watching for previous seasons. So we are going to go ahead and review, even though I'm playing catch up on the review videos, I'm gonna review Fran Beyond Journey's End. And let me tell you, this is probably the one one of the most unexpected. I don't even know how to explain it. I didn't know about Fran until about like three days before it was releasing. Fran has everything to do. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Raven has everything that you would love about an anime. It hits every point. If you're a romance anime fan, if you're a slice of life anime fan, if you're a fantasy anime fan if you like shonen if you like action if you like bro it hits on everything i mean maybe not harder but like most everything it hits on the world building is incredible let me start there the world building for freyrin is incredible there are so many places and settings that are just beautifully drawn hand painted um they're beautiful they're gorgeous there are many different types of of people in each of these towns there's a different type of environment and you know there's snow there's there's the the beach there's like a beach town there's been so many different scenes so many settings that the world building aside from the obvious visual world being built around us we've get, gotten so many different parts of the civilizations that live in these different places that affect freyren and her journey and it's very important because freyren is an elf who doesn't really show a lot of emotion this whole journey, this whole series is about her gaining more knowledge about humans, about uh, human emotion, and about grasping why humans act the way they do, that they do, um, and about understanding that and living with more purpose uh, because of an event that happens in the first episode. So the world building is amazing. It's beautiful. We go from uh, very snow built towns uh, to, to deep forests to uh even flashing back to her trips to the demon's castle we get into different kingdoms uh different you know civilizations like i said um and we go to different academies of magic and there's just so many it's it's a fantasy anime like it's supposed to be but it does it so so well i think that's one of the biggest most important parts about fantasy anime is the world building aspect and it just immerses you immediately first few episodes if you're looking for action or if you're like looking for something in specific the first few episodes are going to be kind of slow if y'all have watched uh jez uh and me react to it shout out to the homie jez we have a whole bunch of reactions we didn't react to every episode and uh, i had some solo reactions but uh he had told me that he liked freyron but he felt it was kind of slow and then there was a few episodes that just completely kicked it up a notch and it got him right back on board so give it a few i would say maybe you know ride with the how slow it is i i say quotations because there's a lot of uh character development going on in these first few episodes maybe the first five or six uh and then it ramps up once they get their first like actual enemy uh and the action starts um even even before the enemy they meet a character and that there's a certain action sequence with him that just should show you like oh they're not messing around when it comes to the animation for action. So if you love action, just hang in there. 
take what you can with the development uh with each character uh and and with the world building and with how beautiful the scenery looks and how Freyrin is reacting and behaving toward these people because she learns a lot from these different uh towns and and everybody that she comes into contact with and it makes her a better character along the way and it's just really nice to see because it touches on a lot of emotional aspects that she goes through and that's kind of what carried me into each action action sequence like uh i i never really thought it was slow i can acknowledge that it was because other people are looking for action or like for the wow factor of why it's a good anime and i'm kind of like they're like just seeing what it's giving me and it gives you a lot of emotional stuff to deal with to process and that a lot to relate to that we can relate to in real life so uh give it a chance give it a few episodes the first half of the first season is pretty good after the first half of the first seat well first half of the first part of the season uh, like from episode six and on maybe even five and on just you're in for a ride and you the second core is just it just delivers everything you've probably been waiting for so i'm so i need y'all to watch this i need y'all to watch this i can't gas it enough i really like that this has a unique premise given that there has already been an existing story that has had a climax and this is kind of like not the fall off but the epilogue to it the the what happens next to something that already happened uh and given it's a story in itself that we're watching it's gonna have its own climaxes and stuff but it's thrown us into a world where something big has already happened so i actually really like that we don't really see that too often in anime i mean yeah we get like the naruto's like oh the nine tail fox attacked the village this many years ago but this one feels kind of more fresh like oh damn i kind of would have wanted to see whatever the demon king like how they face this certain group like with naruto they at least flash back like i feel like most series that have an existing event that's already happened they always flash back to it we always get that later down the road with freyrin i feel like we get bits and pieces of her journey up to that point i don't know if we're gonna get the the whole demon uh, showdown with her group and whatever happened at that climax but just seeing that there's effects in this world of that happening and us following the journey afterward and then kind of piecing together what happened along the way i don't know to me i really liked it it was very uniquely uh shown to us how they formatted it and i just really i really enjoyed that part of it a lot of action comes right after all of this development and it's probably some of the best action you'll ever see in anime in animation it's just beautifully done these fights are amazing it starts in season one but there are so many well animated and hype moments fights action sequences in the second core uh with the grand magic games not grand magic games this is not fairy tale with the first class mage exam uh it gave me tuning exam vibes and i was right it kind of was in a certain way it's just a it's not really a tournament it's an exam like i said but you know tuning exam same thing tournament arc it's it's all in the same bubble but uh i loved i loved i loved the action so much it's 10 out of 10 if you're looking for action don't care about none of that uh, uh emotional stuff like i said write it out till these certain parts and you'll be glad you wrote it out because the action in fragrant is insane it's beautiful it's dynamic and it's a breath of fresh air for the action you're probably used to seeing and it's just so well done every animator aid <laughs> Every animator who was a part of it needs a raise or or, or something, a, a, like 500,000 cookies. Like, bro, I, I can't explain. Like, I was in awe, jaw-dropping every time there was action on the screen. Brain is not your usual a fantasy anime. It is not, and it has reminded us with many, many parts of the story, and I love it. Especially with the special effects. The magic just looks like it was watercolor brushed onto the screen. Like, it's just part of the art. And it's so seamless the way it fits into the art style. I can't even, like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, you have to watch it for yourself. Every magical beam that is flown or thrown in the series feels like a beautiful brush of watercolor. Characters are amazing. They're so very engaging. They each have something to love about them. Freyrin, she gets a lot of development in her. And you start to realize how many quirks she has, how funny she is. She is hilarious paired with fern who's a character she meets later she is also hilarious in her own little way she's a little awkward a little silent and she's kind of like a milli uh mini mini fragrant and 
I think that's intentional. I love seeing her dynamic with Raymond and with the other character we meet along the way, Stark, who's kind of like your classic goof. He's extremely powerful, but he has a, a very goofy and awkward side to him too. Uh, because him and Fern were raised uh, with just straight training, I guess. They don't have many social interactions that they've been used to. So when they interact, it's really funny because they're just some teens that are interacting. Imagine two socially awkward teens just continuously like interacting with each other. That's what it reminds me of. It's so funny. And those are just the three main characters. So... <sighs> 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 The, oh, before I forget the openings and the endings, the openings and the ending songs, amazing, beautiful, just it, it matches the beauty that is Freyrin Beyond Journey's End. Soundtrack was awesome, very, very, very fantasy-like, fantasy world, uh, engaging, and it just, you know, it does what it needs to do at every single scene, you, you want to feel like crying at certain scenes the music got you it's pushing you there you want to you, you got a whole burst of energy because of the action the music got you it's pushing you there the soundtrack does what it needs to do and it's been amazing as you can tell i have really nothing bad to say about Fern. uh this is you know i'm giving y'all my review because you know this these are the emotions i feel uh how i feel what i think when i'm watching the anime there's nothing bad i can say about uh, Freyrin because all around to me it is the perfect starter anime for you to get into if you don't know where to start in your anime journey honestly uh especially with how unexpected <laughs> unexpectedly good it was like it was amazing um it's also got plenty of episodes not too much where it turns you off from watching I think 28 24 to 28 is a sweet spot 24 leaves you wanting like a little more and it gives you 28 so I feel like that was just the perfect length for the amount of episodes it'll take for you to binge and catch up to Freyrin before season 2 comes out because there will undoubtedly be a season 2. It is one of the best anime of the year. It is one of the best anime of the recent new seasons and I hope y'all enjoy. I cannot wait for season 2. But you know as as the end of Freyrin season 1 states, you know, we we do short goodbyes because it would be embarrassing when we met again. So we will see Freyrin again very soon. So I'm going to give Freyrin Beyond Journeys End a 10 out of 10. Freyrin, 10 out of 10 for your magic, for, for the, your main character personality. Fran is one of the best main characters on the screen. <laughs> like, to ever grace the screen. It's it's beautiful, but I am giving it a 10 out of 10. Very beautiful anime. Perfect starter for y'all if you want to get into anime. And a very, very, very good fantasy. Um, but you know, Fran, go watch it. Let me know. Uh, you know, if you already watched it, if you are watching it currently, let me know in the comments. Or if you want to go watch and then finish it, come back and let me know what you thought about it you know just just let me know i'm i'm trying to put y'all on here but i would love to hear y'all's feedback about how my review did if it helped if it didn't help even even if, i had somebody on the last review video for blue exorcist be like oh, see i tried to watch the three episodes and i was very disappointed i can't believe i wasted my i was just like dang i think i tried i threw a question back and he just didn't respond i was like eh. you know at least you're you're interacting with me and i appreciate that you know i can sometimes agree to disagree so um, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this re review video. Make sure y'all remember to drink enough water, eat enough, get enough breath, take care of personal hygiene, because we cannot be the best version of ourselves and spread our positive energy throughout the world. I'm first taking care of ourselves. This has been World Pass, and I'm a peace out. <laughs>